Welcome back, everybody. There are growing calls tonight for Dr. Fauci to step down after lying about gain-of-function funding in the Wuhan lab, if that's indeed proven correct. If that doesn't bother you, maybe this will. Fauci's NIH used hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars to help fund deadly and inhumane experiments on puppies in Tunisia, in a Tunisian lab, that is. Now a bipartisan congressional group, yes, nine Democrats teamed the rest Republicans, 23 in all, investigating Dr. Fauci in this brutal role in this study. Congresswoman Nancy Mace is leading the investigation. She joins us now. This involves beagles and Tunisian lab technicians uh, slash scientists. What could you tell us, Congresswoman? Right. Well, what we learned recently is Dr. Fauci is sending puppies to slaughter, basically. I learned a few weeks ago that a grant worth about $1.68 million was spent to take 44 beagle puppies to take their vocal cords out so the scientists couldn't hear their cries or their barks. They were then drugged, killed, and dissected. Almost $2 million to kill 44 beagle puppies. I've since learned of other experiments using American taxpayer dollars in other countries, because we would never do this here in the U.S., right? The uh, insects that are literally eating beagles alive from the neck up, that was another project, frightening monkeys. And then another one, you're trying to get mice addicted to cocaine. Why are we wasting this kind of money on these kind of barbaric and gruesome scientific experiments on, on these sweet and innocent animals, these, these, do these poor dogs. Uh, we're killing them with our money. It's terrible. So you have the FDA does not require you test on animals in order for these drugs to clear. I have no idea what we gain to see uh, these sand flies eat away at the bodies of uh, dogs. Another experiment had these dogs in cages in the middle of a desert all night, maybe as many as nine days, so they could attract sand flies like bait. And the dogs would be eaten alive by these flies. How does Anthony Fauci sleep at night? It's disgusting. And it's, it's, it's as if, you know, COVID-19 and his lies about COVID-19 were not bad enough. Now there's this. And the more I learn about what's going on with taxpayer dollars and these grants that we're sending to other countries overseas, literally the worse it gets. It's like the reconciliation bill. The more we learn, the worse it gets. And I've been an animal rights activist for a long time. Um, I promised to work across the aisle with Democrats and Republicans when we agreed on an issue. And this is one where millions of Americans agree. This should, be, this should stop and it should stop immediately. Well, I, I would think so. Is that how you got nine Democrats involved? And where do you go from here. Yeah, absolutely. The letter's the first thing. Dr. Fauci has a few days to respond. We'll have to ratchet it up if he does not respond, but I expect we'll get a response from the NIH and or the NIAID where these grants were funded under that program. Um, it's really, it's devastating, but if this is what will bring our country together to work together to do the right thing to save these animals from slaughter in the future, then I'm here for it. Dr. Fauci has got to be held accountable for everything that he's done to this country in the last few years. It's devastating. Right, even on, even on intentional. We just find out now uh, that it maybe America needs to know who he's writing checks to, uh, who's ever in that position after him, too, because it's in our name. And now in this case, uh, in some way or shape or form, we're all uh, paying the price.